Hi everyone, today I've got a red, white, and blue holiday water marble, and good for Memorial Day and the 4th of July. I'm going to get going here and show it to you using Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear. The blue is called Blue, Blue It. My red is called Cherry Red. And my white is actually Wet and Wild from Wet and Wild. Doesn't really have a name. Okay, I'm gonna put two drops of my blue in. It's only because the edges dry so quick. Go red. Doing this at the last minute. I have a party to go to in a little over an hour. And I waited till the last minute to do my nails. And actually, all of this hasn't even taken me 45 minutes to do it. So, as you can see, water marbling really isn't all that time consuming. And once you marble them, they dry pretty fast. So, I can always wait till later to put my top coat on if I have to. It won't matter. Now, like I said, this can be used for Memorial Day, 4th of July, maybe just to your design a little different. Okay, I've got my bullseye done. That's all I'm going to build it. Take my toothpick here. Make my design. Bring in the edges. You can see that's drying already. Actually, when I had tried this out, I had a problem with the red drying on me quickly. So that's why I turned around and started with the blue. But it's really kind of warm and humid here today. And I've got the air conditioner on in here. And my colors were too cool, so I turned that off. Okay. If you're in focus, okay, you are, aren't you? Okay. I'm going to dip my nail in this part, I like it up here. All right, now my cupid, here's my cupid. Kind of freaked me out there when that camera fell. Take that all out. Get my nail out easily. And I really didn't get much on there at all. And I am actually going to redo this nail. Now, believe it or not, you can do it over. As long as the camera doesn't follow you. That nail did not come out anything like I wanted. So I am going to redo it. I'm going to leave the same tape on everything. Redo my bullseye. And I thought this was going to be a quick video, but but this shows you too that if you have it, oops, like I did, it can be fixed without having to take everything off and redo your nails. So. Maybe it's good it actually happened. Okay, so I'm going to go back up again. Then I'll make my design. And I'm going to re-dip this now. Okay. But this one I'm going from the sides in. And a couple of my other experiment tries, I had gone from the inside out. But now I like it there, so I'm going to go there. Okay. Another thing, when you're doing your nail, 
Sometimes if you move your nail around too much in the water, you will find that it can mess up your colors somewhat. So, yeah, it's much better. And you've seen the other one, so you know I just redid it. It's the same nail redone. All right, let me get the tape off of this. And because it is so messy, I'm going to use a toothpick to try and get a hold of the edges there so I don't get stuff all over me. That other one apparently dried too quick or something. I don't know. But like I said, in a way, maybe it's good it happened. Just so it can show you that, yes, you can redo a nail that doesn't come out perfect without having to take everything off, including your base coat and starting over. Alright, so, here are my holiday nails. And this is what I meant by moving them around in the water. Got a little pink there. And the color is next. That one wasn't exactly the way I wanted it, but I was working fast to read it. So, actually, I'll, uh, I think they came out kind of interesting, and you can work on different designs with that. And I want to thank you for watching. Please read my blog, and subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks, and have a great day.